Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome back to another Reddit Am I the A-hole crochet slash knit edition. Now, as always, we do this blind. I will get on my tablet and just go into Reddit and find something that hopefully is intriguing. I will always try to do it within the last seven days so that I don't have any repeats. However, as we all know, the last few times has been rather difficult. So we may be changing things up a bit. I might start doing a crochet drama, knit drama, or just something really cute to just talk about every other week so that we have at least a good two weeks before um, the Am I the A haul. So maybe we will always get something new. Hopefully, cross your fingers. But today I'm gonna definitely do the Am I the A haul and uh, let's see what happens. It seems like for the last, oh, let's see, last week's and a couple, a few weeks ago, they took a turn for, I don't even know. It just, it was a twist. So I wonder if we will get some more twists today. Let's find out. Oh, and I almost forgot. As always, please do not troll anyone's page. This is all in good fun. I do post who the people are that post these stories. Um, so just, it's all in good fun and no trolling. We're just having a good time. <laughs> now, let's get on to the first story. All right, so this first one is crochet related and the title of it just left me You'll understand in a second. Am I the a-hole for giving a bleh? <laughs> if I could even read. Am I the a-hole for giving my nephews cute homemade butt pillows as presents? And yes, that is B-U-T-T, but your gluteus, gluteus maximus. But let's get into the story. So I, 34 female, make these crocheted butt pillows and sell them online or at some vending vending events. They are really cute and I only use very soft and plush yarn, so they are very nice. If you Google crochet butt pillows, you'll see what I mean. I will do that and pop up a picture here. Boom, there's the picture. <laughs> This is basically what I do for a living, but it hasn't taken off yet because let's be real, it's a pretty new business. Like no new business is going to be successful immediately, but I think I'm making a name for myself and I make a lot of them in local sports teams colors, so that is unique. Alrighty then. Anyways, PM, none of my friends or family have bought any but that's a whole different problem. Anyways, my brother has three young kids, one to five years old, and coincidence, coincidence is that all their birthdays are in September. Ooh. For their birthday barbecue this year, I brought three of my butt pillows. I figured my brother and sister-in-law haven't bought any yet, so this is a chance for them to have them. Plus, they are really soft and would be great on a children's bed and crib. They are seriously great to cuddle with. I'm sure they are. I could tell my sister-in-law had an issue with it because she kept asking, these are gifts for the kids? Yeah, I could kind of understand that. Like, yeah, it's not your birthday, but it's your house. So like put them where you want, I guess. Alrighty. Then later, my brother told me it was a weird gift for kids, and I could tell it was my sister-in-law who said that, which is funny because she's like a hippie who doesn't believe in body shaming, and that woman should wear what they, and that women should wear what they want and all that. But oh no, there's a butt pillow around her kids now. She seems surprised that this would be a problem. I said, it's just a butt. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that word? It's more just like a pillow. Just consider it a regular pillow. The baby doesn't even know and can just have it in the crib. 
And my brother says the butts are basically naked because they're wearing thongs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so that's not naked. And I pointed out the other stuffed animals they have are actually completely naked, but they're not throwing a fit over those. And basically, this is just one other excuse for his wife to have a problem with me. Do we see a trend happening here? But now him and our mom are saying they were inappropriate gifts because they're human butts and sexual. Like apparently the thong and small waist makes them sexual. I think it's hypocritical and stupid. They've even had their kids at my house where I had some of these butts on my couch. And maybe if they would have been supportive, like I was supportive and went to my brother's play, they could have just bought the pillows on their own and I wouldn't have had to give them to the kids as presents. Well, maybe they just didn't like them. I also think my sister-in-law is being materialistic she just didn't want homemade gifts for, bleh, can I speak? She just didn't want homemade gifts for her kids, even though they are quality and softer than any pillows she has. There are just but they are just butts, like cute butts. They are acting like I've, oh, I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to say gave. Because it just says they're acting like I, their kids. So they are acting like I gave their kids a porn magazine. And now our whole family is acting weird and siding with them just because they have kids, I think. Okay, so at the very last paragraph, she says, I gave my nephews butt pillows for their birthdays, pres for their birthdays presents. Should say birthday presents, and now I might be the a hole for it. Am I? Let's get in to the comments. Yes, the a hole. You might think the gifts are appropriate, but their parents do not, and the parents decide these things. Time to accept that not everyone shares your personal taste or sense of humor. And then the original poster said, Okay, I guess I'll just ask for. A whole list of things acceptable for kids from them. All right, so this one says, not the a-hole. You gave a thoughtful homemade gift that reflects your craft. However, it's understandable. Some might find the design unusual for kids. And then another one says, girl, yes, the a-hole. Why in the world would toddlers want a butt pillow? You can't be serious. And then the original poster commented to that one, it may as well be a stuffed animal or pillow to them, and they'll probably like it even more when they're older. Honestly, I have no idea. Is it appropriate to give a one to five year old a butt pillow? I don't know. I mean, honestly, it depends on the parent. And since their parents didn't buy any of those pillows to begin with, they may not have liked them. So I don't know. This one's a hard one. So I can see both. Yes, it was a thoughtful gift, but it was a but. Should we tally how many buts I say? <laughs> Anyways, I digress. The homemade gift was great. The fact that it was a butt and with a thong is not so great. Reddit says yes, but no. So I'm kind of uh, in the middle too. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's really appropriate to be giving. So no, I'm saying yes, you are the a-hole. Yes, you are the a-hole. You tried to give kids. A butt pillow. A B-U-T-T -T pillow. Okay. Let's move along. Man, these are some weird, weird stories. 
All right, so this is Knit Edition, and it is from three months ago, and hopefully I haven't already done this one. I don't think I have, but anyways, it is Am I the A-Hole for Introducing My Step Cousin to a Girly Hobby. We'll see. I am a 14-year-old male. I live with my grandma, and she really likes to knit. I learned to knit from her when I was little, and I really enjoy it. Just when my... Whoops. Just when I'm bored or have free time, I'll knit. My family doesn't care and it has caused no problems so far. My uncle got married and he was, he has a stepson who is seven years old. We've all been getting on quite well. I gave him a beanie for his birthday that I knitted and he was really interested in how I made it. So I told him what knitting was and he was really excited and wanted to try it too. The next time we met, I bought, brought my old knitting needles and told him I could teach him. His mom heard and wasn't very happy and asked what I was doing. I told her that I that he wanted to learn to knit and she was a bit upset about it and said that he didn't need to learn and it took away and and <laughs> took away the knitting needles. I apologize. I am stumbling over my words. I thought it was some age problem that he's too young to handle knitting needles, but my uncle told me that she was upset ab about it because she thinks that boys shouldn't have these kinds of hobbies and that she wasn't happy with me introducing a girl's thing to her son. I was kind of offended, but I didn't say anything. The next time there was a gathering, she sternly pulled me aside and said that now her son wouldn't stop asking for knitted things and wanted to learn how to knit and scolded me for introducing it in the first place. I felt kind of wronged, so we had an argument about it, and I don't know if I was the wrong, I was in the wrong for it. Am I the a-hole? Well, okay. A lot of people would say that cooking is a woman's job, per se. But I, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe there are more chefs that are male than there are female chefs. So to say that is kind of cliche, at least to me. I don't think that anything that is crafty, I mean, would you say that um, being a mechanic is strictly a, a male thing? Because I know plenty of female mechanics out there. It's just what interests you and... I would definitely say not the a-hole in this situation, but there are a lot of people out there that have that very strict, that is a woman's thing, that is not for men, uh, boys shouldn't do it, da da da, but I'm sorry if they get good enough and can make it to where they can have, you know, sell things and start making money, why not? And even not to just make money, just to do and have an enjoyable project, something to pass the time and keep you out of trouble. I would look at it that way, but I digress. Let's see what Reddit has to say. Not the a-hole. Ignore those idiots who tell you that it's a girly hobby and do what you like. Not sure how you can teach your step stepson, step cousin, probably only if he comes to your place as his parents seem to be bucket heads and will not allow this. All kids need hobbies. That's how they made fishing nets. That mom can F right off. When I was taking theater arts classes in college, everyone knitted backstage between scenes, waiting to go on stage. Okay. Uh, knitting and netting are different techniques. This is another person commenting but they were both all hands on deck tasks until fairly recently. Knitting is loops and the whole thing will unravel if a strand is cut. Netting is more similar to the old null binding techniques. It's knotted throughout the piece, so it doesn't unravel if, it is, if it's compromised. Makes sense. It wasn't until factory manufactured 
goods became generally available that fiber arts like this moved to hobby status. Before then, if you wanted something to wear, you needed to have at least some idea of how to make things yourself, or at least how to repair damage. Even now, this is a common hobby for folks in the military, security, theater, or any other profession that involves a lot of downtime, gives their hands something to fidget with. Your relatives are being ridiculous, not the a-hole. So I, I'm, I'm assuming everybody is saying not the a-hole. Not the a-hole, it's absurd. Say knitting is gendered for F's sake, I'm assuming. Uh, I follow lots of male knitters on social media, keep knitting. Okay, here's another comment. Not the a-hole. Granted, I've never actually learned to knit, but from what I know about it, the the hoo-ha, I can't actually say, I don't want to say that word, isn't actually a part of it, which is very true. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe it's to hold the yarn. Oh, dear God. I'd be trying to get an adult, possibly my grandma, to intervene on my behalf. You're 14 and she's out of, out here being accusatory to you. Tell your grandma the whole story that you posted here and ask her for her help, either to tell this woman to back off or maybe even set her straight, depending on what your grandma thinks. Oh my gosh. That was quite interesting. Yes, you're not the a-hole, my child. You are definitely not the a-hole. <laughs> Some of those comments. Can we just say we are out on left field? Seems like every week we are out in left field. <laughs> All right. On to something cute. Oh my goodness, do we ever have something cute. I love this Halloween sweater. That is absolutely gorgeous and adorable. I love all the little ghosties and the kitties and the pumpkins and the bones and the, oh my gosh, what else is there? Oh, there's like a um, cemetery scene. Oh, look at there's little bats. There's little bats. I especially love the kitty that's a tie being, it looks like it's a tie stuffed animal. So cute! I absolutely love this. I would love to learn how to do this. I need to learn how to knit first. We'll get there someday. But oh my goodness, that is so cute! Oh, can I have one? I want one. I would love this. Oh, I just noticed at the very top it looks like there's candy corns. Oh my goodness, I love it. Love it. Anyways, we're still going into left field, apparently. These are some twisted stories that I'm getting. <laughs> Let me know. Do you want a little drama next next week instead of just Am I the A-Hole? Although Am I the A-Hole is pretty dramatic, if you ask me. But so that we can maybe get some new stories in every do every other week am i the a-hole and every other week be something drama related or something just um just fun knit related like if or crochet related one or the other like if i can find a a really cute outfit or something i don't know let me know what you what you think in the dis in the description box in the comments what did you think of today's stories they were crazy quite out there. Oh, goodness. I love that sweater. I would love to have that sweater. It's gorgeous. And yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and click all on the notification bell. And uh, yeah, with that, Remember, gravity works, guys.